Y'all go ahead and hit the like button for my girl Mio Pop you, man. I wouldn't risk it. YouTube, I got a lit one for y'all today, man. This one is gonna be great. It's just, I mean, it's real basic and simple. It's a bald fade, but I do some beard work in it as well. So I want y'all to just sit with me and vibe through this whole video right here. We got a nice beat. Shout out Way Too Lost, that's a producer on this beat. I bought the lease, of course. Man, yeah, we vibing today. So I'm going in with my lever closed on my wall cordless seniors. And I'm just setting my ball guideline in, man. Just making sure that it's even all the way around the head. So I know you guys can't see right now, but that's what I'm doing for sure. Is I'm just walking around checking, making sure that it's even on both sides so that one side isn't higher than the other one. And this client actually is my dad. I've been cutting his hair since I started. He was pretty much my practice dummy when I first started cutting hair. And I used to do everything differently back then. I just take a one guard closed. But in this, uh, now that I got the end is masters, I just do a lever open, which is a true one on top, and then just bald fade it down. And it's kind of like a pretty high, it's a pretty high bald fade. As you can see, he's balding in the middle of his head, but that's why he gets a cut so low, just to kind of, help better blend his hair into that bald spot i guess so to speak so i'm going in with my lever open on my wall cord the seniors right setting in that first panel and i'm setting this in probably about an inch okay and then i'm gonna i drop my my lever to about a quarter of the way closed and i just flick up under that line and as you can see it pretty much blends it out if it doesn't i will open and close the lever as needed but really honestly man just wrist work you close that lever, you open it, or clo uh, if you adjust the lever to about quarter of the way closed or a quarter of the way open, yeah, quarter of the way open, I'm sorry, and just flick, I'm telling you, it, it's crazy how how much time you could shave off of your haircuts, right, just by doing that and focusing on wrist work and making always making sure that you're flicking out. So I'm going in on top, and this is the highest we're going to go. I mean, like I say, he gets a true one on top so lever open even steven you know what i'm saying and then we just blend down we fade down and it, it, it's it's crazy how it comes together it's such an easy haircut and since i had the experience from cutting my dad's hair i actually have another og client that comes in he gets the exact same haircut so you know that's just one thing like getting over anxieties in a barber shop when you know how to do or when you know how to execute a certain haircut you don't have to be nervous when you get somebody that you've never met before that sits in your chair and wants that haircut because you know how to execute it. So here right now, what I'm doing is I'm just bumping notch by notch down. It, it's 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 easy as one, two, three, you guys. I, I went um, to the notch before last and I was flicking all the way up towards the parietal ridge. And then I went halfway and I dropped down a little bit lower in the fade. And then I'm, I'm quarter of the way. And now, am I still quarter? I believe I'm closed now. And I'm just flicking up under that line, just trying to get everything nice and, and neat and pristine. Like I say, clean and pristine, you know, that's that's what we do on this channel. That is what we are about, right? Cleanliness, consistency, and dope, crispy, picture-perfect hairlines, right? So I'm gonna repeat these steps around the entire head and try to get it all nice and neat looking. Okay, so we're jumping right into the hairline and as you can see my pops is receding right so this hairline would be scary to a lot of beginners right or people who aren't used to this type of thing but all i'm saying is we always stick to our steps and we we never back down right so i planted in the middle and i worked my way to the left side and i'm not pushing i'm not digging back into those light spots right that's why i like to spray holding spray on because that holding spray leaves a nice ghost line and just shows that even if they didn't get enhancements if the ghost line is straight and nice and neat when they look in the mirror they're gonna be like okay you know what i'm saying you, you straight and that's just if they're receding so in those light areas it kind of gives the illusion that there's a line there that there's hair there even though you're just it's just the uh, leftovers from when where you hit the uh, holding spray with your trimmers right so Plant it in the middle again, and I'm working my way to the right side. 
And I'm just trying to keep everything super clean and consistent, man. That's all I'm doing here. And this is all I'm... I'm just trying to give the game to you guys the way I learned it. Because I feel like the way that some of these big-time YouTube barbers, you know, teach the game, it's just... It's kind of hard to follow along and... You know, it was hard for me to follow along in the old way. And I'm not knocking 360Gz or nobody. There's, those are dope people who've been in the game. They are cold. 360Gz, goaded. Bean, goaded. Chris Basio, goaded, right? But I just feel like the techniques that 360Gz was giving out, it kind of was, it was hard for me to follow along with, right? Because it's all about that wrist, wrist work because he skipped steps and he just... I don't know it's just it was hard for me to learn so i'm trying to teach you guys the way i learned like i said so right now i'm just making sure that that hairline that ghost line is as clean as possible as straight as possible so i'm checking in the mirror like i said before like i always say a mirror is a barber's best friend i'm also trying to bring you guys some more energy in this video i hope you guys could tell the difference a lot of people was like bro you sound depressed in that in your videos look now so i had to step it up now i'm talking my you know yeah so i'm going in with my Tune 45 color no drip assisted with the Sean Cuts hair color enhancement clutch card and I'm just keeping everything nice and consistent I'm going along that ghost line right and I'm filling that in and I'm also gonna kind of go a little bit around like the bald spots in his head uh, or like the bald spot in the middle of his head try to fill that in a little bit just to kind of make it look a little bit more neat I don't believe I used hair fibers. I don't think I doubled up in this one today. I think I just used the spray, just the color, but I do some nice beard work. It's not a lot, like it's nothing crazy when it comes to beard work. Cause obviously my dad doesn't have like a big burly beard, but the, when you guys see the finished product it's I'm telling you, man, it's super, super, super crispy, super clean. So as you guys can see, I'm just going in and I'm darkening up, filling in some of those light spots, those bald spots around the head. I'm going to go up towards his crown area where he was balding at on the top of his head and fill that in a little bit, as you guys can see right here. And that's all I'm doing, just trying to keep everything nice and consistent, nice and clean. This color right here, man, I'm telling you, Tomb 45 No Drip is a game changer, man. Shout out to Tomb 45. They, man, I... <laughs> tomb 45 this this no drip this color right here is the best thing since toaster strudels i'm trying to tell y'all like this is perfect like it, it does it it's no drip it doesn't drip when people sweat it doesn't run off their face it barely fades when if i mess up applying color if i if i go too heavy and i try to wipe it off with some alcohol even though this is alcohol based and that's what's supposed to get it out it's st I still kind of have a hard time getting that out with the alcohol, right? So imagine what water doesn't do anything to this no drip. This is the best color. This is this is amazing, right? This is awesome. This is perfect. This is evolutionary. <laughs> so right now I'm going in doing some beard work. I don't got the camera angled properly. Y'all can see my fat my fat neck. You know what I'm saying? But completely disregard that right because we here for the we here for the finished product we here to learn how to execute a dope bald fade with enhancements and do some nice beard work so really right now i'm just i'm lining up his mustache this is something that i like to do before i go any further i always just make sure i get that mustache lined up before i lean my client back and and do the the um and do the razor work but look at that look at that Y'all cannot tell me. Just look at it. Bro, that is so fire right there. That is, man, look at how crispy. I got my boy. Look at this. Look at it. I got my boy back in the game, man. Nice bald fade, enhancements, nice beard work, sharp beard edge up. Man, it's super crispy, super clean. Look at that, man. And it's an easy haircut, and it's simple. See, look at my pops, bro. He always got this straight face. My pops always got a straight face like, oh, man, ain't nobody, you know. Man, come on, man. He better. See, that's the crazy thing about it. My pops never smiles when he sees his haircut. He's probably just used to it. He's just used to get being crispy because he knows that his son is going to get him right every time. But that's crazy, right? I mean, you can smile sometimes. You don't got to be a hard ass all the time. And these OGs kill me. 
But if you guys like the cut, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps with the algorithm. Sub if you aren't subbed already and stay tuned.